Hello cookbook friends and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be looking through the unofficial TikTok cookbook. I have not indulged in TikTok cooking at all. Actually, I've seen a few recipes. For instance, I have seen these really awesome mini donuts before. There's a couple other recipes in here that I think a lot of us are going to recognize. So I wanted to pick this up because I know that school is going to be starting up again and I know a lot of kids kind of, they use TikTok a lot. Um, and they do actually have quite a few awesome recipes. If you've got any college students out there, this would actually be very helpful, I think, to kind of give them to start off their college year this year. So let's dig into this. This is by uh, Valentina Musi. So she's got an Instagram at uh, Sweet Portfolio if you want to check her out personally. I'm, I'm glad that she's able to compile a bunch of these awesome recipes for us. So let's start with the table of contents here. So we have fun drinks, viral recipes explained. I, I might need to look at this when we end the sh show today. <laughs> We have breakfast hacks, then we have quick and easy snacks. Next we have lunch and dinner and desserts, desserts, and more desserts. I kind of think the drink section is quite desserty, so let's look at that first. Actually, you know what, let's, let's talk about why there's viral recipes. It happens first on TikTok. All the newest trends, memes, and viral challenges are here. That is actually quite true. Um, way before they spread into the other corners of the internet, like Facebook or Instagram, TikTok is the trendsetter for internet culture, and that includes food recipes. I That's very true. It breaks recipes down super easy and makes them you know, really approachable, and I think that's kind of what's appealing about it. So let's see. I want to look at some of these drinks because, for instance, I think a lot of us are going to know what the Dalgona coffee latte is. I've been wanting to try this recipe since I saw it on TikTok, or actually it was on Facebook, but I'm old. So this was one that I think my niece would really love. It's uh, whipped strawberry milk. This is adorable. A lot of these are very, very sweet. White, hot chocolate, super easy as you can see. We have, you know, very simple ingredients. There's only like four, and then there's only two, two points for instructions. So that's really helpful. It's a fun uh, cookbook that's going to be, you know, really easy to approach. So this is the mermaid, mermaid smoothie bowl. It's a little more elaborate. It looks super... If I could have this for breakfast, I would be a happy camper. But um, I really like that they have created for some of these recipes additional content. So for instance, it says hashtag for you tips to film a viral smoothie bowl recipe video, make sure you are near a window or a good light source and film separate clips of each step in this recipe. So I like that they kind of give you ways of, you know, making this and recording it for your friends and, you know, also just cooking tips in general. Let's see if I can show you some other recipes in here. Pink chia pudding. So we have kitchen hacks for in for this recipe. Uh, chia pudding can be made into any flavor using the same base of two cups of milk mixed with a third cup of chia seeds. I've been wanting to do this actually in substitute for, you know, if I'm really tired, I can make a chia a chia pudding for breakfast. So let's move on into kind of the more savory dishes. We have garlic turtle bread. This looks very good. Perfect for like spaghetti and stuff. There's a French onion soup in a bread bowl. This looks really awesome. And then, and a lot of these recipes aren't necessarily healthy, but Still, if we can get kids cooking and, and being in the kitchen or experimenting with food, that would be awesome. We also have the Alligot. I've seen this before. This is like that cheesy, potato-y, fondue-looking thing, and it, it's always looked really interesting to me, but I've never actually tried it. So we have a recipe here. 
Let's see if I can pull up some of the desserts. Unicorn fudge. This looks really good. Perfect for birthday parties. I know that my niece would really dig this. I know a lot. I would actually really love this for my birthday, to be honest. It's really colorful and fun and very easy. And then they also, so they've included a really awesome index. And let's see if we've, and they've created a whole section for you to be able to take notes yourself so that if you wanted to do some add-ons or if you've created your own recipe, you could write it all down for, you know, in the back. There's quite a big note section. So I wanted to show you guys this. There's 75 amazing recipes in here. A lot of us, even if you're not on TikTok, have probably seen some of these before, like pancake cereal. There's just all kinds of weird, fun, experimental things in this cookbook that are going to be very, you know, for, for college kids, for kids, or just if you love TikTok, this would be kind of fun to have. So that's the unofficial TikTok cookbook. This is by Valentina Musi, and again, her Instagram is at Sweet Portfolio. I'll make sure to list that down in the, the links below. Thank you guys so much for listening to this Cookbook Divas YouTube video. Um, for more cookbook content, make sure to check out our Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and more. We've got a podcast that publishes every Friday. It's usually our cookbook roundup, so it's our weekly roundup for all the newest cookbooks coming out. And make sure to subscribe and like this video. We try to post as many videos as humanly possible. We love doing these look-throughs. Thank you guys so much and happy cooking.